welcome you all to my channel is this your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in today's video we are going to making a simple video on how to cut and sew your flay kimono jacket okay you can also wear this piece as a gown if you don't want it to be a jacket it all depends on your length and how you want to wear this outfit so what are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve your flay kimono your bust measurements your waist measurements your hip and your gown length now don't forget to join us on Facebook TD Designs, on Instagram TD Designs, and also visit our website. You guys, we have amazing fashion illustration on our website. All the details are going to be in the description box below. So our shoulder measurement now is 14. 14 divided by 2, we have 7. Our bust is 38. 38 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 10.5 our waist is 30 30 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 9.5 our hip is 40 40 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 12 inches our gown length is 32 so 32 plus 2 inches for our aiming allowance we have 34 inches so basically these are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve your flay kimono now one thing i'm going to say is this when you for these measurements you need your bust measurements and your waist measurements you don't really need your hip measurement we don't actually need our hip measurements to achieve this style so i'm going to say that in order for you to achieve your flay kimono you are going to be folding your fabric in a flay in a triangular sh um, shape and i'm going to show you guys where we get to the cutting part of this tutorial so don't forget feel free to drop your questions in the comment section if you have any question in the course of this video please drop it in the comment section or if you have any topic you want us to make a video on please drop that in the comment section and I'm going to make a video on that. And don't forget to turn on your notification bell so that you can get notifications once a video pop up. So now, let's move to the cutting part of this tutorial. Guys, so the first thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and fold our fabric in a triangular shape because what we want to achieve is a flay kimono so for you to fold your fabric in a triangular shape all you have to do is take this part of your fabric and then you slant it this way so this is what we have this is what we have we've gone ahead now to fold it so the next thing we are going to do now is to take our basic measurement. So our shoulder measurement is 7 inches. Go ahead and place your tape measure where you will have your shoulder measurement, okay? So we have our shoulder measurement which is 7 inches around this part. So I'll go ahead now and mark that, meaning that this is where we are going to start our measurement from, right? Now from our shoulder to bust, we have nine and a half. Shoulder to bust, we have nine and a half. Shoulder to arm O, we have nine inches. So this is what we have. This is our arm O and this is our bust line. So the next thing we'll do now is we'll go ahead and mark our shoulder measurement, which is seven inches. We mark our shoulder measurements which is seven inches now on our bust line we'll go ahead and mark our bust measurements which is 10.5 so our bust measurements is 10.5 our bust measurements
measurements is 10.5 now you will also determine how many inches you want to add to your basic block because this form of kimono is actually a free form of kimono so go ahead and add you can add four inches you can add five you can add three inches it just depends on how free you want it to be so i'll go ahead now and add about three inches to my bust measurement so i have I've added three inches to my bust measurement. Now, for my bust to waist, bust to waist, I have eight inches. Bust to waist, and then we have our waist to hip which is nine inches so this is what we are going to mark our hip measurement so let's go ahead now and take our waist measurement our waist is 9.5 our waist is 9.5 we'll go ahead and add about three inches the way we added for our bust measurement now our hip measurement our hip measurement now is 11 inches our uh, hip measurement is 11 inches. Now, the freeness of this form of kimono is where you have your hip measurement. So, I'm going to maintain, like, I want my hip side to be very free, so we are not adding 3 inches to it. The reason why we added 3 inches to the bust part and to the waist part is because we want the bust and the waist to be a little bit fitted. However... If you want yours, maybe you want the waist part also to be free. You just want to have a little fitting around your bust alone. You will only add these three inches to your bust measurement. Okay. So we'll go ahead now and connect our arm O. So this is our arm O curve. This is what we have. Now we are going to take our neckline. So for the wideness of my neckline, I'm going to make it of 3 inches for the wideness. I'm going to make it of 3 inches for the wideness of the neckline. Now for the depth of the neckline, I'm going to make it of 3 inches for the depth. Now this form, okay, I'm going to explain this part where we want to cut it out. I'm going to explain this neckline where we want to cut it out. So let's mark our one inch for shoulder slope. So now we want to cut this out. You need to take your gown length. Place your tape measure this way at the folded side. This is where we have our folded edge. Place your tape measure this way and take your and take your gown length measurement, okay? So take your gown me length measurement. So this is what we have. You also place your tape measure this way and take all the measurements. So you place it this way and then you take the measurement. So at this lower part, you're also going to have a curve. So you are going to have a curve. This is your gown length. This is our gown length. So let's go ahead now and cut out this length. Cut it out. This is what we have for our gown length. Now, like I said earlier, I said the beauty of this dress is having your hip area being so full. That's the beauty of this kimono dress. Having your hip area so full. Now, when you want to cut this out, just take this edge. We want to connect this to our bust point, to our bust line. So we just go ahead now and cut this this way. So you can see what we have. If you want your, if you want your waist to be fitted, then you can just take this and cut it around your waist. That's if you want to have a fitted waist. Okay, so we'll go ahead now and cut this out. This is what we have. Now, what we have here is our front block. 
you can see the shape coming out already you can see what it looks like you can see your flay area so what we want to achieve now is the front block of the kimono so we'll go ahead now and open this up now for the neckline we max three inches here all you have to do now is to connect this in a slant shape just connect this down with a slant shape okay and so you go ahead now and open this up start cutting it out this is what we are going to have we are going to have two pieces for the front block so before we move to what we are going to use to turn the neckline let's go ahead and cut out the back block for the back block also we are also going to fold our fabric in a triangular shape just like the way we did for the front block so we'll go ahead now and place our front block this way we'll go ahead and place the front block on it We'll go ahead and place the front block on it and then we'll cut this out. After cutting it out, this is what we have for the back block. Now we'll go ahead and set this aside. So, the next thing we are going to do now is this is our back block and then we have two pieces for the front block. So go ahead and place it this way. Place it this way on each other place it on each other and then you stitch the shoulders together you stitch the shoulders together after stitching the shoulders together this is what you are going to have like a single piece now we need what we are going to use to turn the neckline so after stitching it together the next thing you are going to do now is you are going to take the lower part now and then you measure what you have all the way round now in order for you to do that this is what you are going to do so you place a tape measure this way and then make sure you place it very well so that you can get the exact measurement so we'll go ahead now and just take the measurement while we measure what we have all the way round so if you find this video very educative please give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe okay feel free to drop your questions in the comment section or any topic you want us to make a video on so we have about 60 inches on this part so you take your tape measure now and then you measure what you have so just keep measuring what you have so we have about 90 five inches all the way around we have about 95 inches so we we'll go ahead now and fold the cape for the neckline use like the same fabric or a different fabric just to i like what you have around the neckline so for the wideness of my cape i have five and a half inches or six inches that's five inches plus our sewing allowance so fold it into two this way we are going to go ahead and fold it into two this way we'll be having about two and a half inches right by the time we are done stitching it so for the length of this now we are going to have what we have for the neckline is 95 inches so i will advise that when you are cutting out the cape you should add enough allowance to it so it's better you have enough allowance for your cape which we use to turn the neckline than having limited one so what we have for the neckline is 95 inches i'm going to cut about 105 so i added about 10 inches extra so when i'm done if i have any excess i'm going to trim them off so for the length of this we'll have 105 inches and while for the wideness we are going to have five inches so now we'll go ahead now and fold it into two like i said earlier fold it into two So you folded it into two, this is what you have. What you are going to do now is just place it this way. Place it this way because it's going to turn out this way. Can you see what we have? Let me zoom it in. 
okay so this is our cape now and this is our long neckline right so you just go ahead now and stitch it this way stitch it this way so by the time it flips through this is what you are going to have you can see you can see the cape coming out so by the time you finish stitching it this is what you are going to have for the neckline all the way around so just fold it into two and then you stitch it this way you stitch it right so after stitching it i'll show you guys what it looks like so guys after stitching it all the way around you can see what we have you can see how it lays properly so what you are going to do now is this joining you have here you will use your weaving machine or your interlock machine to interlock this part so this is what we have you can see and then it goes round this way and for the other side you can see what it looks like so the next thing you are going to do now is you will go ahead and join the sides together you join your back block to your front block together you can see what we have you can see the cape going round this way so it's actually very easy so the next thing you are going to do now is just to join the two sides together your front block and your back block and then you go ahead and fix in your sleeve if you want your kimono to have a sleeve you go ahead and fix in your sleeve if you want a sleeve you fix in your sleeve if you want it to be sleeveless you just go ahead and m the armhole of it so this is basically easy so the next thing you will do now is next thing you will do now is to go ahead and m the lower part of our dress so you just go ahead now and fold the lower part of your dress and m it after that this kimono you can see how free it is i'm going to put it on a mannequin also so that you guys can see how free it is so guys this is what we have so you can see the cape effect and i just went ahead to place a belt on it so this is what it basically looks like so i hope you enjoyed this video give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe i'll see you guys in my next one bye